Hey, we're showing everybody. Ready? Woo! There it is. So this is part two of the Q and A. We're back, and now we finally got everybody yeah. on the Q and A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back and we're better. All right. So we want to start off. I mean, Cindy had a good question. Cindy, what was, what was your question for the team? We, um, which one? Uh, yesterday we talked about it, or you oh, brought it. So she had a Q and A on her personal page. Thank you, Adam, for sitting in with us, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, she had a Q&A um, oh, pet about peeves. pet peeves. And somebody, somebody that, mm, no sabe el vato, no sabe el vato. <laughs> Pero, she, he asked you or he, or he mentioned a comment to you. Um, what was it? He basically said his pet peeve was when women brag about being independent. And his thought on being independent, women, women that are independent was that we're too masculine. Um, we... Like, we, we're not seen as someone that you can date because you can't, we can't, prov we don't have any feminine attributes or things like that. So, so what's your thought on independent women? Like independent women, like being masculine or like, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Just kidding, oh, no. Yo, hey, she's got, hey, you got some <laughs> good vocal cords there, um, bro. So a woman that's independent and has quote unquote masculine uh, traits I mean, we've talked about this again, but for the public, for our viewers, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now, because this is for the once in a lifetime, the whole team is on the channel. Um, honestly, I think it, it just goes, one, it's personal preference, but two, it's like when you have an independent woman that is like-minded like on business, is driven, confident, like, yo, like, that is a strong woman. I don't. I know as a young age and even older, like people, guys in general. Maybe I'm wrong, Dylan. Um, there's a lot of guys when they take advantage. It's because some girls are broken, and we prey on that. That like, all right, they're never gonna leave me because they're broken. Like I'm all. I'm all that they got. They can, they'll believe my sorries. They'll believe. Like, but when you have a strong woman, they're gonna tell you like, yo, fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. You know what? Here. I can actually read the message. Go read for it. it. Go for it. Read please, it. Please, please. So, he basically said, there's nothing wrong with independent women. The problem is when Western women become so independent, they start being combative, unruly, masculine, and having a realistic dating expectations. So my response was like, you mean independent women have done healing and work on ourselves to be able to... So to be able to be self-sufficient, and when we, date our, when we date, our standards are high because we won't allow anyone into our life. Um, that doesn't bring us peace. Dylan, what? Hey, yo. Dr bring us in, Dylan. Bring us in. I'm like, hey, yo. Uh, no, no, speak, speak, speak. I still, I still I just feel think. like as a man, I would want my woman, to, my woman to be independent so that if shit fails with me, like, we don't know what's going to happen, right? So I feel like I would want my significant other to be able to hold down the fort if anything were to happen to me. Mm. Like, just okay, having get, that peace of mind that, like, okay, my woman's got it. No matter what, like if something happens to me, like she's gonna, she's got it, okay. she's got it, and you don't have to stress over that. Because the thing then is, um, what I, well, I, what I think is, society put it as okay, the guys, the guys got to maintain, the guys got to provide. From so a young it's age. Like, I'm not saying I think that way. I'm just saying that's how society put it. So many people that are mature in their mind think how you're saying, you know, and that's fine. That's completely fine with me. I like that. But society put it out there. So when girls act independent or when they go through healing, stuff like that, and they have high expectations for a man, the guy goes, yo, they find it as masculine. Yeah. And it's because society put it out that way. And it's just like, that's not, it, that's it, not really how it is because your mind is. But it goes back to like, small. it goes back to like being the breadwinner. Like, yeah, as a guy, I feel like we do have that responsibility and we do need to have something going for us. Like. 
yo, we still got to bring money home. And we, I, no disrespect to like the stay at home dads or anything like that, because there is some, I know some, but there has to be some sort of, of like drive that, yo, I got to get up and I got to provide for my family, for my mm-hmm. kids, for my wife. And, and even if you don't have any of that for yourself, like, yeah, the comfort of living at home is cool. But at one point, if, you know, X amount of things happen, if you bring a girl home, you want to go to your own place, not, yo, be quiet. My mom's awake. Or my mom's going to hear us. <laughs> jump, through the, jump through the window or something. <laughs> jump through the window. But I think, yeah, how Dylan was saying, like, a lot of people are scared because we've never been brought up like that. We've never been around. If we were ever around girls that were strong-minded, confident, mm-hmm. tough, we're just like, nah, uh, they're a certain word, you know? I kind of like that. And, I think, and, well, you, you know, know what's funny? It's like when um, I met my ex, the first thing he said, he's like, you know what scares me? The fact that you don't actually need me. We but, don't need you. But the thing bro. was... We don't, we drop that don't mic, bro. You. <laughs> but the thing was, like, so now he's like, damn, like, I got to work even harder. Like, I got to be 10 times, like, above and make sure, you know, I I work my ass off because she doesn't need me, but I want to show her that I am, a you know, an asset into her life. Like, I'm someone that... But I mean, I her. feel like in, in a relationship, I feel like I shouldn't be your first priority. You know, you, your first priority should be you. Your goals, what you want to achieve, and it's just like I'm here to support you, to get you through that. And it's like most people think it's like, okay, we're in a relationship. I should be the first one. No, I should be. Yeah. You know, stay at home. And I make should me, be there. Don't you? <laughs> you're just an and addition like, into your you're life. You're an addition to you their have. life, and it's like you can help them go through their journey together. Yeah. And I don't you know? think people realize, like, we're all independent. We all have our own life. It's exactly. Your partner is just an addition to what you already have. Yeah. Last Q&A, yeah. Like, you shouldn't like, be finding, you shouldn't be finding, like, that missing piece in someone else. Like, go look for it. You're <laughs> 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 One at a time, please. <laughs> oh, it's true. No, but, it, but it, honestly, is this true? Because it's, you know, is there a responsibility as a guy? Yes. Is there a responsibility as a woman? Yes. But... Yo, like, I w- it's not the old ages anymore. Like, both people can work. Both people are, have the opportunities to be great and to bring a great income. Both people can wash. Both people can clean up. Like, there's no, there's no gender on that and that type of sense. And it comes right? back to culture, dude. Culture, yeah. Like definitely. Hispanics are like, okay, no, la mujer tiene que lavar, la mujer yeah. tiene que. Lavar. Los, hazme lonche a las seis de la mañana. Have you it's ever, like, ever hazme had lonche. Had, I had one of my suegras tell me. I was like, what the fuck, for real? <laughs> oh no, it went, no. What she she's like, oh no, what cree que mi que mi hijo se fue a, a trabajar sin lonche, and like throwing it indirect, and I'm like, it's because he's probably dating. Oh, yeah, he's pro- dude, he's, he's, he's it's because he's probably it's dating. Like, dude, I can't reply, but like I know you're throwing that shit at me, bro. Like, it's because he's <laughs> he's dating the lonchera now, the lonchera lady. <laughs> she's there. Quieres, quieres tacos, <laughs> mijo? Quieres taquitos? But I think like, sorry. Go, go, go. Even growing up. um, like, growing up in a Hispanic household, you're taught, like, you're supposed to dress a certain way. You're not supposed to... I remember my mom telling me, you can't ride bicycles with boys. I used to hang out with, like, all the boys. Like, I love playing rough. Um, even me doing we powerlifting noticed. was, like, a big deal. She's like, why are you lifting now? You're going to get hurt. And I'm like, so what? Like, I already know that shit happens and it's going to go down. Mm-hmm. But, like, let me take my own risks. Even after my injury, she was like, see, this is why you don't go back. I'm like, no, failure, things... And you, you're going to fail, like... In life, it's going to happen, and you're just supposed to figure out and find ways to get out of that situation to keep moving forward. Let me just ask you from here. Adam, is it attractive for a girl to live heavy or not? Speak facts, bro. <laughs> live heavy. To each their own, there's going to be men that are you're not. Gonna, you're going to be for some people, and you're, gonna, you're not going to be for some you're people. Not gonna be but, exactly. but, that, but that's why like, I'm asking him, because that... It is different now. It's not just like, yo, I just want my, my girl to look cute, take a great picture. I said, like, no, I need, I need my person to be confident. If she needs to be a, a bit, be one. Let her be like, one don't yeah. let, don't, like, don't let yourself get walked over anybody. Because, yeah. like, you know, uh, so something happened with, with the car, and then Brittany was like, oh, they're going to tell me this. I'm like, yo, you fucking tell them. <laughs> you got no fucking like the bottom, you. The bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Yeah, like you don't let them be fucking like just tell you what they want want to tell you. Like you stand up for yourself, 
tell them what you want, what you want to say, and how you feel, because, like, what else? Mm-hmm. So transitioning to, and I want to thank my people here that the, the parents did not swallow them. <laughs> hey, yo, back to Abby. Uh, there hey, you go. Yo. Thank you, Abby, for that. You guys, you guys so, background on so that. all right. So <laughs> before we pass the mic to to Aubrey, we we're <laughs> having a, a a date on Friday, and this this podcast is gonna come out probably like a week later after this is this is already uh, taken. But we're having a nice dinner at a Malibu, you know, around a lot of good people, a lot of sophisticated people want to relax <laughs> next to the water. And we're started, we just started eating. All of a sudden, Aubrey was like, yo, I want to thank your moms. We're like, we, were, hey, we were confused, bro. We're, we're like, like okay, what the hell's cool, going on I'm here? I'm eating yo. my burger, my salad, my salad. Dylan's eating his fucking sandwich. <laughs> that was two times his face. El Cubano. <laughs> El Cubano. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she was like, yeah, I want to thank him for not swallowing you. <laughs> so... I mean, the, the Q and A's. Oh. We were we're transferring them into being very honest, very explicit, and transparent, for, transparent to those people that really want to f- know this. So <laughs> uh, what that you didn't get swallowed? You didn't get swallowed. In case you guys didn't know, mom's a trooper. Mom's a trooper. Mama, I love you. Took, I hope you don't watch this. Exactly. <laughs> Wait. So spit or swallow. It is no, so not the, the spree, it, I did this in my the Choke Daddy podcast. Go for it, go for it. Speak Choke facts. Go for it. I want to hear this. But is this. there a difference between the things that people eat? Yes. Okay, so my take point was take, take so the damn since mic. we're <laughs> Okay, yo. <laughs> uh spit. Beca- well, like we said the other day. Spitters are quitters. Dude, <laughs> like if you know, I mean, unless you know what the person is eating. Or they and have a terrible diet. Yes. So, it de- I mean, it depends. Like, if it's my person and I know, like, he's well hydrated, he eats good, hydrated, like, you better go and uh, let me see the toilet and make sure that I shit love is how clear. You're pointing at it. <laughs> like, hey, I don't, whoa. I'm pointing at the bathroom. <laughs> I'm pointing at the bathroom. Um, okay. If, my per- if I know my person's, like, eating good, has a good diet, like, then swallow. Okay, so Otherwise, my question, my question is, well, they put it on, on Instagram, they put it on social media, is like when it tastes like battery acid. Ooh, is that true or not? Battery acid. That, I mean, that's how they put it out so there. They're, they're, they're Go for there it. is a channel that's, <laughs> that says it. <laughs> what, what does it taste like? Disgusting. Yes. Sour. Sour. So battery acid. <laughs> Why is Dylan answering this? <laughs> <laughs> have you swallowed fuck no know? hell no yo no i just I, for the girls well for the girls not I was Dude, the I girls out there what'd I you say i tasted it myself so just so i know what you no. go through oh, no. he's like let me i got you guys i know what it tastes no. like no the only thing well i'm gonna go i'm gonna go out of my way here but the only thing i have tasted that was just fucking horrible it was my own urine and it was an accident an accident it was how an you accident taste your own urine on accident? okay so I work in, as a delivery uh, driver. I'm gonna walk out. Are you I didn't. Ready? I didn't want to take a break because I wanted to finish quick. Uh huh. I peed in a bottle real quick. Oh. I put did the, you sip the fucking bottle? I accidentally sipped the bottle. <gasps> what? No, oh it was not. It was not God. even a sip. It was not. It was like a gulp. Good. It was I like didn't gold. swallow. It was just like okay. So I was driving. I was pretty mad because I, I was road raging. And usually I put the clean bottle of water here. The dirty water. I fucking He's throw that shit in the back. I throw. I throw it in the back. You know. So I was road racing. I was like, dude, why does this dude not switch lanes and this and that? So I was like, you know what? I'm kind of thirsty. I got to get some water in me, you know? I grabbed the bottle. This is my I open it without looking, and I just go, blinks. And I look down. And once I look down, I feel salty and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? This so, is my brother. This is my brother. This is exclusive content. This, We're going to start a Patreon. You're not going to hear this, this anywhere else. So you better, a, you better start listening. We're going to start a Patreon for this stuff. <laughs> He really did. That was an accident. I'm, I would never do that again. So, with all that being said, <laughs> let let w- yeah. yes, like, I'm like, bro, I'm being true to myself. We had a great conversation on Friday, and we yeah. talked about um about when you're in the bed with your partner or even one night stands. Is it a thing that to get your fix as a woman, or is it a fix as a man, or is it both? Like I've heard some girls like, "Oh, I'm gonna finish when you finish." I don't think that really happens. I don't. I don't think we very we very rarely (laughs) finish. (laughs) Why? Because a lot of men don't know where the clit is. I'm just saying. Ooh. Yeah, we rarely ever. So, like, talk about that. The, (laughs) the, 
So let's talk about pull out, like, pull out a diagram. So, so let's talk about. <laughs> is this a choking daddy podcast now? Hey, I think it turned into a choking daddy podcast. I'm not going to say it's not enjoyable, but we hardly ever finish. So yeah, it's, it's more for you guys finished. than it is for us. Yeah. So what is it? What is what? Well, what, like, what is a guy well, got to do? What did we say? Like, that we, we're not the ones with the sex okay. drive. It's you guys with the sex drive, and we're the ones with the sex response. response. Okay, exactly. so I think the opposite. So I think a lot of women don't know or haven't explored their body enough to really understand what they like to teach a man. Because you obviously don't know my anatomy. You don't know what I like. Every woman is different. Yeah. Um, so women haven't done their part to really explore our own bodies to tell you like, hey, I like this, I don't like that. Like we're just in silence expecting you to know everything because you you learn from porn, but we all know porn is fake. And our domestic you're pretending well, yeah, we know what we we're said, doing. Like it's important <clears throat> to like to tell your partner the things you do and don't like and have that conversation like either beforehand or during. Like okay, because otherwise it's just gonna suck, right? Okay. And most people don't have the conversation. <laughs> yeah, they don't have the conversation, so. When it gets time to doing it, yeah. you're like, you're not satisfied. She's not satisfied. And it's like. And then shit fails. Shit <laughs> fails, you know? Is it a difference and it's when. Like, now you can go out the window. Is it a difference when both people are intoxicated? Ooh. Is it a difference? Like, yeah. what do you mean a difference? So they say when you have drunk sex, uh -huh. it is better on both ends. So I don't know I mean, better. Up, fun, up more fun, yes. It's better? it's it's fun. You bump your head and you start laughing. Better, both of you motherfuckers start better. giggling and shit, you know? <laughs> Wow. Dude, yeah. oh shit, okay. I don't, I don't think it's fun. ever been better. No. It's just more spontaneous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's more It flows fun. better. It's it flows more, better. Just more, your body's more, more relaxed the before not as than the during, right? Like, yeah. the, the yeah. before, yeah. when you're both The drunk. sex part, I don't know if it's that great. Yeah. Mm -mm. So it's not better. It's just more fun. I mean, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not going to like it. I'm spinning shit here, you know? <laughs> Um, <laughs> says the one that's hung over today. What happened? What oh, happened crap. last night? No, last night nothing oh, happened, bro. I was at home in my room night. drinking. This, this is someone that doesn't drink tequila, Adam. So this this is someone that when she sees tequila, he's like, eh. But he's the one suffering the next day. Paco okay. said, you well, know what's better? Consent is better. <laughs> oh, yo. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Wait, who was that? I Paco. Paco. Oh, Paco. Brother, <laughs> brother, I love you. I, it, Paco was the first guest. Paco. Was Shout out to Paco. Oh, he goes to Hidden Strength too, right? Does he still go? Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, I don't see Paco. We're Yo. gonna talk about you, big guy. We're gonna talk about you really quick. <laughs> wow, Paco. Yeah. That's what that's what they all like say. That? They'll come back, but they never do. Since no. we're on, since we're on, on on the live and cameras, oh, yeah, you coming. know. I keep forgetting. Oh, we're still Paco, live. But Paco, Paco like was my my first guest on the podcast, which we need to we need to update. Uh, Pop, but. People like him, and talk we're you. switching, <laughs> talking, talk, talk your talk shit, talk Adam. Your shit. <laughs> Adam doesn't talk shit. Adam, I'll, hand, I'll hand Adam the, the microphone, fuck it. We love you too, Paco. But, yeah, he was the first guest, and he was literally one of the dudes that when I pitched the, the, topic, to him, the topic to him, he was like, yeah, say this. So, forever in debt, we need a part two with Paco, because Paco he, is inspiring and motivated. You're requesting Adam to be in the q and Adam. Adam, Adam, over here. Adam, wait, this is requested by someone that's half asleep. Jose, and didn't make enter it. the group chat. That yeah. didn't make the group chat. But so transitioning to the next question, because this is question three. Make it a spicy one. Ooh. Do you have one that makes hey. it spicy? Hey, yo. Hey, hey yo. yo. Bring the you have a spicy tío. question? I have a few. Okay, go for All it. All right, so now we're in transfer to Cindy this right is now. This what we're here for. Let's go. Really? Let's go. Ask it. Choke me, daddy. Oh. Podcast. Go ask. Ask. <laughs> I mean, I might not be able to reply, but I'll end. try my best. Go for it. If you guys want more content like this, tune into her podcast, Choke Me Daddy you Podcast. Definitely have to. Yes. Right now. Choke okay. Me Daddy Podcast. You got to go. Does size matter? Do you feel we like... We talked about this, too. The other we day. did talk about this last time. <laughs> Do you um, no, 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 no. Wait, okay. what the fuck am I going to reply wait, wait, to that? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> does, okay. Size, does size matter? And do you, as a man, um, believe to adult toys should be involved? Personally, okay. Look, let me tell you. Let me tell you something real quick. Most, <laughs> most guys see adult toys intimidating. Intimidating. But personally, I see it as this. This dude's my partner in crime right here, bro. Like I gotta, you know, this dude's gonna help me out real quick. <laughs> so, most people that are insecure about themselves, you can say, find it threatening. Find it. Offensive. Offensive. So it's like, okay, well, if this toy can do the job, why can I not, you know? 
<clears throat> but it's like, you guys got to work together, dog. We got to get this job done together to make you feel good, you know? Uh, but that's me. So that's me. So the size matter. The size matter. Um, I think to an extent. To an extent. It has to. It, we, since we talked about this on Friday. Someone said we have to. Sorry. Someone said, how do you feel about talking to someone with the OnlyFans? Ooh, oh, that's a good okay, one. Let me, let me hear you. Let me hear you. That's so, a good one. Whoever asked so, that, they, so, yo. so the size matter, I would say to an extent, yes. But how we talked about uh, within us, like it does matter. And guys, I want you guys to take this as a big hint and a big like wake up. You got to ask your girl. You got to do the warm up, right? You got to do the warm up. And you got to make sure to me that. Size doesn't matter. Com- Size don't matter. Size Confident don't matter, matter. does. Confident does. True. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, you get as a guy like we're, we could get off within thirty seconds or a minute. Two pump, <laughs> we're a two pump done. The two pump, <laughs> two pump done. <laughs> what you said? The two pump. Two pump done. done. But you got to make sure that she's taken care of. Mm-hmm. So if it takes a longer time to do the foreplay, great. Go for it. Take your time. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless it's like spontaneous. Bro, and we got, can't even, pl- can't we even spell foreplay. Minutes. We need two minutes. We got to go. Some guys don't say less. Like kissing and like being very like. Stimulating. Like stimulating. Yes, touch. exactly. That, that, actually that, so that plays a big. Sex starts before you get to the bed. That yeah. plays does. a big part. Like it does. Before. It yeah. does. Not because the, just hammering through like that shit don't, doesn't work. I don't on, know how many times I've seen On TikTok, there were, some guy was like with the with the glove hammering away. She was like, I haven't heard that sound in forever. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Adam but over here is like, dude, what the she's, fuck? She's, Adam's like, what, what the fuck? Yes. But someone, someone said, said yes, yes, it does. Okay. Depends. But you obviously can't but do you, but do you know how to use it? You have a micro penis. But do you. But but the thing is, the, but the thing is, like, if to, if you got the size, like, do you know what to do? And so, how, I mean, what, as a girl? No, as a guy. Uh, as a guy. Because, like, like I mean, mean, everybody's on there and just like, yo, like, all right, he just stood there. It's like, yeah, <laughs> stay right okay, there, like, homie. Like, well, we, well, no, Jackie was saying but this, as right? As much as, like, okay, so this is not just to, like, back up the guys, but also, like, does a woman know what she likes in order for you to understand what you need to do? You gotta, be, um, you gotta be in tune with yourself. I think it's both. It plays I feel both like that's parts. why that's how that's how toys come in. Well, those I toys. You start nine exploring. inches, bro. Nine. I'm just bro. kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yo, that's huge. <laughs> She's <laughs> trying to get huge. her here. That hurts. <laughs> I was like, bro. I don't but know it feels good. That. It just, it just hurts. <laughs> Take the take the microphone away from her. Take, take it please. She thinks it's a sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, the, Cindy, it is not a sex toy. It's, it's a the preferred color. I like, so. love you, bro. Um, but no, going you know taking it back, taking a step back. It it depends on no, if you. It depends on who you, who you are. Like do you how you said earlier. Yeah. Do you are you in tune with yourself? Poor player, she won't stay. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, poor player, she nope, won't stay. Nope. Nope. My famous phrase, Dude, Adam. Listen to this. Listen. No pecs, no sex. It's a workout, big guy. It's a workout, big guy. No pecs, no sex. Adam workout. You got to. Um, Adam's like, I'm learning a whole lot. So, so this transition. We got a couple more minutes. This transition. Do you date a guy or or girl, guy or girl? Because there's both. With an OnlyFans. I won't be offended, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> no, let, let's ask Sin. Well, <laughs> well it's kind of Sin, weird Sin, guys don't really have... Okay, they typically okay. don't have OnlyFans. Let me make a... St- no, yeah, there's a lot do. of guys. No, I mean, some do. Sin, some do, but they it's not... It's, it's they rare. They just don't tell you. They just don't disclose it because there's various ways to promote it. No, but well, I'm talking about... Me, but realistically, also, like, a lot of guys... Yes, really, they do. Really? Yes. Let, yes. Let, like, let me let me let me take it Let me take it from the... so you want my... Wait, let me take it from the guy perspective. For a girl... Do you date a guy that has an account in OnlyFans? Well, I think it's the same as them watching porn. No, I think you guys have to realize that OnlyFans is not just no? porn. And That's, I don't think okay. people realize that. Okay. That there's... Okay, so... Um, but let, let me tell you. Okay, so you can have an OnlyFans, mm-hmm. but you don't have to do porn on there. Like, my take on it is, like, I do femdom. So mine is, like, no nudity. Like, it's a very, like... There's really yeah, no okay, 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 so okay. it's me being a dominatrix, dominating men, talking shit, humiliating. Like, it's not the same thing as you're comparing you're me to someone comparing. that does, like, strict porn and yeah. has sex with other males and sells that. Like, I am on the, I'm on different ends, and there's women out there that do foot fetishes, that do different types of things, and I think everyone just 
stereotypes, like OnlyFans is all porn. Because like, that's basically not. what. Well, it's not basically what it is, but it's it's, actually, it's, it's, it it's more common. Even made. It, it wasn't, wasn't even, even made for, for that. porn. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Which is like OnlyFans oh, was not created for porn. Like what? that was not. It was for. What was it made for? It was made for artists, like creators, big artists and creators, to be able to. Um, tune in like on a pers- more pers- personal level with their fans like so like to go live on there and then their fans would have to pay so like if I wanted to see Chris Brown on OnlyFans like I would pay but it wasn't made right. for that. So, 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 like, so, so let, let's stick to the question if you were to date a guy and you find out he has an only, OnlyFans it's different than, than porn and the reason why is because now you're paying for it he's paying to see other people <clears throat> would that be effective or not is that a big no, or is, is it a red flag, or I is it a not? I think only because, like, let's say, like, they knew someone personally that had an OnlyFans. If they don't know them. Like. They don't know them. It's random. Random. Chick. Yes or no? It's a yes or no, Aubrey. I think it might it might be it a is. no for me. It's yeah. A, it might it's be a red a no flag, guys. Do not. But but red is her favorite color, so she doesn't mind. Yeah. No. So you said yes. You're paying for porn, right? So why not support another sex worker? Wait, you're paying for porn? People pay for porn. People pay for a lot of things. Like, why not support someone that's in the industry? I guess it depends, too. Like, are they, like, are they <laughs> on no, this, no, no, like, every day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? No, you want to know my take? Because, because I've had friends know. and that are guys that are not bad people. Like, you don't have people associate it with you being bad. It's like, no, no it's a service. Like, a lot of us provide a service for people that can't have it. Like, we can't access it. Like, with fetishes, yeah. I have a lot of men that are married but it's literally just role play. Me telling them like it, it's weird. Like it's not weird, but it's like it's something that they can't go out into the world and do because it's they is, get so stigmatized. Is like, that cheating though? Do you consider that cheating? No, no because I don't no. flirt with hey. that cheating. Does okay. that make sense? But do they flirt with you? No. Okay, so okay, so it just it gets to a certain limit. That's it. They so get what they want. Role, that's it. We just want. We want to know. Is it? Yes I don't think it it's yes no. no. Okay. It's not right. about so now let's ask Dylan. Dylan, is that a red flag if she has a OnlyFans? Depends if she does what they say porn in it or not. If she does foot fetish or something like that, I'm against cool case, cool. But what if she did in the past? And it was actual yeah. porn. And she's past that. Oh Are you okay. really gonna bring her down because of her past? No, not really. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna tell you right now no. Cause if you want someone or you actually re love someone, you're gonna unlove the past. And look over look, that. Look past it. Look, look past, past the it. past. Dylan? If you guys were wondering, Dylan is single. Oh, God. <laughs> so, <laughs> what the? That, I mean, as. Oh, you guys have a question. question. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, I got you. Come through. Come through. Come through. Okay. What, what's, what's the question? Can you hear him from there? I'll just, yeah. I'll just can, read. Oh, wait. We have a. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we had a question, and it said if your significant other had a. Only is fans. Significant other or friends? No, if your friend had an friend. friend. If your okay. friend, if your if friends, friends had an, had an, an only o- OF an OnlyFans, would you pay and support it? Would you pay? I have. Ah. Okay, the you're, question you're, is you're, you're given. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> out of here. <laughs> would, <laughs> would would you support the OnlyFans if your friend had it? 100%. Okay, the question now is not only if you support it, but do you watch the content? Oh, oh I probably wouldn't watch the content. I'm That's the thing. Go support my femdom journey and me talking shit to you. I'm just kidding. Go support. <laughs> yeah. so, so support, support my support my friend, but I wouldn't. I'm not big on porn. So. Okay. So is is that just like a uh, preferencing, or is that just like guys and Wait, girls? Wait, why aren't you big on porn? I have a question. I don't e. know. Hey, hey, Cindy, be coming up with some good. No, hey, she be like, like I've Cindy, never, Cindy's I've, on I've it, bro. Porn, okay. And I, I, feel like I, like when porn. I was younger because like curiosity, but like I, curiosity killed the cat. I don't. I heard no. that. I'll tell you the last time I watched porn. Did I love watching porn? <laughs> but it's like no, what it's not porn on OnlyFans. Pornhub. No, like I, I like watch it because it's it makes me laugh. But it, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Well, yo. Obviously, it's not real. Okay, so obviously it's, it's not real. That's what I was, I was. I'm surprised that you go on Pornhub because you know like more about the industry. Like you know that's not real. Well, because I have to, and I have to learn through like femdom, like what um, to say, like when I talk shit. Like, like you have to learn through. I it. just, okay. I just want to. I want to establish this on camera that there could actually be good conversations within friends. Yeah. Not always eating like, you know, one one thing we talked about this mm-hmm. when you have a conver- this type of conversation with somebody, people take like, yo, like, all right, this is eat- like we got this. We're in. It's like, no, bro, mm-hmm. there can yeah. actually be a respect, uh, respect level in this. And you can ha- in order to be have these conversations, you got to have you got to be mature. 
Pretty your much. your mindset has to be correct. And if I got asked that question, the same thing, right? <laughs> We're taking it back to this side. Um, probably not. If my friend had an OF, I probably wouldn't subscribe or that. If she needed any sort of help or he needed any sort of help, if we're really close, cool, I got you. I can see your take on it, though. Yeah. Because you have, I mean, you it's have respect a for him. It's a respect. So it's a level of respect. Like, if it's about, like, to me, you know, maybe also, Adam, like, if I'm running a certain, a certain business or a certain thing, people are, are always going to see everything that you're doing, every single move. So for me, it's like, no, bro, like, I, cool, you got that. I respect you. We'll, we'll take that in consideration, but... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you your your flowers outside of this. I'm gonna, I'll I'll help you in any sort of way outside of this. But would you, you still consider it support, even though it's outside of what? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because I think there's different types of support, right? Because we have friends here at the at the podcast that support all of us. Yeah, they're not here. We love every single one of them, gotcha. and we were just with them not too long ago, and we love them. Support support comes in different ways. I think support comes in, in different ways. Um, and that's just it. Like, are you really there when I think support goes back to like, are you there when no one else is around or no one else believes in the journey? Like if you come with that idea, like, yo, you're going to start an OF. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. I don't know. Dylan. It's like, yo, like, I still love you, bro. Like, we're good. <laughs> we're still good. It's not like, yo, you're going to start this and we're not automatically. We're not friends. I can't have you around me. It's like, no. That's your business? Cool. Go ahead. I'll power to you. I think people just are, what I tend to see, you get judged a lot. I still get judged a lot, even though my content is so different from. But for girls, it's, for girls, it's different, yeah. I think. If a guy does it, it's praised upon. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I heard it mm. somewhere else. If you're if a guy does it, damn, fool, you're slinging dick all around. <laughs> Yo. But for a girl, it's like, Yo, like you're selling yourself that short? For... for I'm 99 years. years I don't think people that short. realize how it works, and yeah, that's the that's funny what I was about thing to say, that people don't know exactly. They don't know, and they don't want to know. How does yeah. how does it, it work? doesn't work like that? Don't comment on it if you don't know. That's yes. my thing too. Like if you don't like people are obviously like they're listening, they're tuning in, and they're like, wait, what? Like she doesn't do porn on OnlyFans, or she doesn't show her body on OnlyFans. I bet you a lot of people are surprised right now that she doesn't. Oh no, I get subscribers. I get people that subscribe and then do a chargeback and delete it because they didn't see me nude. Yeah, so see, I, I that's what, and that's lot. what I mean is like, don't comment How on do you, someone. Well, I'm like, never I subscribed, or like, I they, never, they, I never they, bought. They um, submit, mm. they talk to their credit card company saying that they never made the purchase, and I get taken that money out. So they take my money Broke away. boy, broke boy. <laughs> and I'm, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, just because yeah. it that's, says that's on little there what energy. I do, it says femdom. I, it doesn't say I do fucking porn or nudity. Like, I don't understand how many times I have to tell you this. How does, okay, well, can you explain how to, because I've never subscribed or never so, supported. I don't think people understand that subs fans. the subscription price is just to get you in. It's like a strip club. It's just to get you in the door, but it doesn't include everything else that you're looking for. It doesn't include the actual service. So the way I do it is like, okay, so it's literally like uh, 10 bucks a month, but it's just to see a fee. And in my fee, you see me wearing a freaking strap on with lingerie. Okay. So I cater more to men that have like a fetish. I don't cater to regular men that are into porn. Okay. Um, and the thing with this is like it makes it's a huge difference. And I was telling my friend this, mm -hmm. like well, with men who just like regular porn, they're cheap. They want they feel entitled that they have to get that. They just they want that and they want you to do that for them for a Ooh. certain price. Okay, men okay. with fetishes, they can't get that anywhere else. That service is more stimulating in the mind. Mm -hmm. um, it's something where they want to do sessions of role playing. I wear regular clothes when I role play most of the time. And in that role play, let's say they pay for five nine or five ninety nine if I'm doing a special, ten bucks if they pay for the regular subscription, and we do a femdom session. So in a femdom session, they can range from um, this is a service they, that you can pay for aside from just the regular subscription, and it can range from fifteen minutes for fifty bucks, or an hour is like about one fifty plus the tribute, which is like one seventy five. And in that session, we do a webcam session where they they already sign up, like, they already give me all the details, their fetishes, what they like, their heart limits, because I, I can't fuck with their head too much, where they can go under depression. Like, you have to watch for all of that. Like, it's a crazy, like, oh, sure. people don't realize how crazy okay. it is. Okay. Um, so they'll purchase services like that where you just role play. They want to be humiliated. They want to have, like, be degraded. Like, it, it's insane. 
they, they're, if they're into sissification, they want to be sissified, which I make them wear uh, women underwear. I tell them how strong I am. A lot of them subscribe because I'm, they see me as a power lifter. They know I'm stronger, so they'll do, like, muscle worshiping. They worship my muscles. Oh, <laughs> so, shit, okay. Um, so it's a lot of stuff like that. And so you could purchase services like that. Like, you can sell um, used panties. I go as crazy as bodily fluids. They buy pee. They have an obsession with pee. They sure. have this, an obsession with saliva where they drink it. Um, I teach them how would to you eat to, their cum. Would you able? Would you be <laughs> no, able to uh, date a guy with a fetish like that? Yeah, I like think extreme. Be, it just depends on the fetish. There's well, I'm saying like I'm an extreme really one like that, like <laughs> a fetish to pee. They're obsessed with pee. Um, it's interesting. Fetish. It's really interesting. And then, I, well, a two-part question: Would you be able to date a guy who has an extreme fetish like that? And would you, as their partner? satisfy their fetish Provide it, yeah. honestly yeah i feel like people don't really understand like these people are normal people very a lot of the people that want to be humiliated and um, dominated are people in higher in positions where they're ceos where they're owners of big companies they've never felt like they Degraded. like no more like they can they they want to lose control they want to be dominated by someone higher than them so so to end on a good fucking q a if you haven't fucking subscribed <laughs> Subscribe right now because these Q and A's are just wild, as you see. But to end on a good one, uh, relationships, and we always—I think that's just a good one on on dating. <laughs> what is that? What about when me? so we're gonna go one, one by one, and it's just a very simple question. We don't gotta get too much detail. Um, if you start dating a new person, you really love like this guy, like this girl, mm -hmm. or you, even to the extent you love them. If down the line you find out something that they like, do you, how you said, do you please that or do you stay strong to your belief? Very broad though. What do you mean? Like a Whatever it is. Or? Whatever. No, no, no. Whatever it is. Fetishes. Nah, no, well, what that's it, what we're so, talking about. No, so no, like, so yeah. we're, we're, we're expanding like any it. Hobby. So anything. So if there are certain, a certain way, they like a certain thing, they like a certain thing. Because again, and, and as crazy as it sounds, like and how we talked about, like if it's not, Good in bed, then it's then that passion, that fire usually goes away. But if they like a certain something, do you com comply with it? Do you satisfy it, or do you say like fuck no? Well, if we're talking about like actually loving someone, love has no like there's there's no boundary. So if so you really yes no. love someone, well, I should be a conditional. <laughs> Can you let me speak? <laughs> so yes or no? <laughs> no, I'm, it is a yes because I'm I'm saying like if you love someone, it. there's it's like unconditional and. Got it. There's nothing. Cindy? It would be the same thing for me. <laughs> yes. Dylan? Pretty, oh, shit. Pretty much. I think it would be what See you Aubrey way. said. I mean, no, pretty really, much. See you like, <laughs> if you really love that person, I mean, your likes would be something I'd care about. And yeah. if you let it get in the way, then it's not love. So, yeah, exactly. So. so if you're letting it get in the way in your relationship right now, Break it off, big guy. Break it off, big girl. A lot of people are unhappy in relationships unhappy. For um, too long. For way too long. And we don't realize the red flags because we're so accustomed in wanting to make this person it. Like, this is it. This is my person. You can't make somebody. No matter what, they see, they try to see through all that shit. It becomes toxic. And we'll get into that when we have everybody here. It gets into all that shit. So, yo. This fucking Q&A was, <laughs> was wild. This was, wild. This was a choke me daddy edition combined. With we we collaborated. <laughs> we collaborated on this one. But, yeah, I mean, we're on live on every single one right now. You Next Q&A will be like six Hi, of us. Yeah. No more. Like ten of us, right? The, the huge Q&A. Ale's on there. Ale's on there. So yeah. the, ne the next Q&A we have. The camera was even oh, rolling. The, oh, the, is rolling. the whole, actually, the, the whole team, I, I would say, everybody that's in our own uh, circle will be together all next, next week. week. Well, when this is out, it will be a week later. So this everybody's going to be a week now. before. When you guys see it, it will be after. But again, we appreciate you guys' support. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing the fucking podcast because, again, we do this because we love it, because we love having conversations like this, and we're making the uncomfortable, uncomfortable conversations comfortable. I just want to say, get used, to, get used to seeing our faces because... You got to. <laughs> this movement is just starting. Stay freaking tuned. See you guys later. Yo.